What's going on, Zombie Mob? So if you've been on stream the last few days, you know I've been trying to get my god run for D-Machine with no luck. Just can't get the uh, Wonder Weapon as soon as I need it. So I figured for some inspiration, we'd watch somebody else get their god run. And the uh, current fastest time that I could find is 2406. So let's take a look and see if we can pick up some inspiration and maybe some tips along the way. He's going with the M16, which, I mean, obviously, I think all of us agree is the best, uh, the best gun for this. Checking out his gold camo. A little bit of flourish. Checking it out. And he's waiting for him to spawn, and I think that makes sense. I mean, that, that buys you seconds, I think, in the end. You don't have to wait for them to spawn in. I like that 2x scope he has. I'm using the mill stop, so maybe a 2x scope would actually make it a little bit easier. You could probably even go something as uh, long range as 3x. So he's already on the penthouse roof area, round three, waiting for him to spawn in. I'm interested to see how much, how fast he gets the money he needs to dip out of there. Because it's taken me usually until about the fifth round. Hmm. Huh. Still waiting for him to, uh, I mean, checking these spawns. I, I just don't, he's got 4,300 right now. They're not spawning in. I guess the only thing I'd be worried about with this strategy is you're not going to get any drops. But obviously it didn't bother him and he has the world's fastest time. So maybe I should not worry as much about that. But I wonder if that's a double. Yep. So I mean, it's kind of luck of the draw. He probably has done this a lot where he's killing them. Because he'll have enough points after this one. But he's killing them before they get in. And I bet you there's been plenty of times where he just doesn't get enough of them in there to get a, a drop. Like a double points or a bonus points or something. Because he's almost there to have enough points to get out of here. Real smooth. I mean, lots of headshots, lots of critical kills. He's already ready to go. If He, he, he only has to stay as long as he needs to stay. I'm interested, he's waiting to get more points. Or he's waiting for a round. It's interesting, because I haven't watched this yet. He's already at almost 10,000 points. But that double uh, double points really helped him a lot. All right, he's into six. And the, the thing about jumping into this next round is you don't know when your dog round's going to be. So, I mean, it's like a luck of the draw. Three minutes. But making sure they don't spawn in probably saved him two minutes to this point, which is kind of crazy. So he's not trying to do anything fancy. He does have Aether Shroud to get back to the other side. I've seen some people use Aether Shroud to jump to the other side. He's just going for a more straightforward approach. Just cutting across, going around. But he's still getting them before they spawn in just to save himself some time and farm some points. Everything he does is very efficient. I mean, clearly he has the fastest time, but it's, I mean, how many times has he done this and not gotten his run? But it's, it's all very dialed in. It's all very efficient. He's not worrying about the crystals, and I think that's a distraction. Because while you can get points from that, and I think you can get weapons from that, the chances of you getting something that's actually usable... Now he's going to get stamina up right now, right? Yep. Okay. 
I'm gonna get the fuse. And he's ready to build it. And he's gonna build it before five minutes. Which puts him almost a full two minutes faster than my fastest time at this point, which is insane. Is he going to do coffin dance? He's doing coffin dance. Okay. So he's going to get it from coffin dance. And then that, I mean, it, I've been saying this, this knocks, this will, oh, that's, ah, I like that. Okay, cool. Just picked up something. He's shooting it through the wall. I wonder if they, did they nerf that though? I'm going to try both of those. So wait around as long as you need to. What is he going to do during this? He's just going to hang out, upgrade his weapon damage. He's got enough salvage for it. He's going to get his armor. I think that's smart. I mean, you're if you're going to get the wonder weapon and bank on getting the wonder weapon from the coffin dance, there's no need to... He's going to wait for the... Although, I wonder if you get... It moves faster. The coffin dance moves faster. I've noticed if you stay down there, it goes faster. Maybe it doesn't. Is he coming up here to get something? Unless something really crazy happens for him, I wonder about this. No, I mean, it might just be the exact same amount of time regardless. Oh, I, he's not even going to get his weapon from Coffin Dance. He did this so he could knew where the spawn is for the next portal. He did it so he'd get a dog round. That's it's a variety of different things that could happen. Ether scope. He's going to need the shroud to get back over there. All right, fair. That's cool. I'm interested to see where he gets his wonder weapon from. And that's a great, that's, those are great spawns for the ether scope, the pieces of it. Cause you can get one that's downstairs, one that's on the plane wing, then one that's back down. If it ends up taking you too, too, uh, too much of a securitous route, you just lose so much time. So he's already got this built, almost built before 7.30. I mean, he's just cooking right now. He's going to go fill the gas canister. Smart. And this was a game changer. As soon as we all figured out that we didn't actually have to have the canister to fill up the gas thing. Seems like he's on mouse and keyboard. You just be able to change direction so much faster. But somebody who's on a, a controller. No way. No way. Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna do this until I get it. I just thought like he you don't have to go get it. So it stays there and you can complete all those other steps. So that's the time that you don't you don't have to waste waiting for it. That's that's it's interesting. I I'm just very I mean he's he's I've watched some of his other videos, but I'm just highly impressed by his efficiency. I mean this is very well thought out. He this is not like haphazard. He knew what he was gonna do before he did it. He's also been very frugal about where he uses points. And that's that's something else that's been good for him. I'll be interested to see what he does right now. Does he go up, freeze the tree with his megaton that spawns in while he's in the dark ether? Okay. I mean, I think that makes sense. If you already have the Wonder Weapon by then, then that makes perfect sense. 
So he's he's gonna grab the flask. He can't put it under the tree. Dude, that is a an amazing spawn for that megaton to just be right there to freeze the tree. Did he already put the flask down? And then that's his megaton. That's his megaton for the uh, purification step. And he's back down here to to turn it on because you it, it won't start the next step until you put in the the code or the password. Insanely, insanely efficient. He he's also got had some things happen that were very lucky for him. I mean that him not having to wait for that megaton to freeze the tree, and he's just now putting down the flask. And then he's headed to get the, um, he already has the fuse, so he's going to go get the fire one. And this is also helpful because this opens up his, um, and he, I think he did that so he can use this later on for the electricity one. Because you end up having to run around all kinds of different directions around if you don't already have that uh that portal open for later on when you're doing the uh that electricity crystal that's down in the pond and he's already ready to do it just cranking just cranking i mean i it, it is a really insane mixture of extreme efficiency and some things that have really worked out well for him I'm still shocked at that Megaton spawning right there and freezing the tree for him. Because I've sat there for a minute before, waited for that Megaton to get up there and freeze the tree for me. So he went up to the second floor, got that crystal first. Going to go through down through this portal. Oh, that's efficient. That's efficient. He didn't switch to his... Oh, no, he did. But he doesn't lose the crystal that he sucked up. So that's, that's interesting to know. So if you'd already sucked up the crystal, then you can deposit it in there. He's going to go back by there. Shoot the, is he going to shoot the little piece of it to make it fold up? I don't know about that step right there, but it's not like it cost him. Yep, he's going to do that. Headed straight back up. Can you... Can he suck it up with the, the gas in there? All right, so he has the flask. He can. Because I thought you could only do it with the shockwave. Or maybe there's one of them that you just can't do it with. I, unless they've changed it or they've buffed or nerfed it since, since this. But I've tried to do it with other types of ammo since then, it might be that you can change it after the fact, after you've already sucked up the crystal. And that must be what it is. So he's gonna, this is very, 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 very efficient. I mean, clearly, but no wasted steps, no wasted movement. He's just gonna come up to the edge of that He's not even going to worry about using the um, portal again. Although he's going to, it's going to, he's going to have to do it twice. So all those extra, that extra movement, he didn't do it in one shot, but it clearly, it doesn't cost him. Oh no, it's his last one. He did get it in one shot. What am I talking about? Impressive. Impressive. And he's ready. And he's got his Megaton. So efficient. And what he's got to switch back to electricity for the boss battle, right? At some point. But he's already ready. He just has to get the wrench. Where's he headed right now? It, I do like not wasting the time while you're in the dark ether for these steps. So he's doing something. So he's, is he going to go back and get the lightning ammo right now? Yeah, I think we've all, I mean, all of us who aren't as good as these guys we're watching right now. Yeah, he's on mouse and keyboard. 
just think we have to wait around. And these guys are maximizing everything they're doing for the purpose of cranking this out as fast as possible. Though I do wonder if these these little scenes in the dark ether go faster when you're there. Or maybe it's just my perception that's it's wrong. He's going to go, oh, dude, yeah. Your average person would think you just go up from there. But if you take this route, it's just the tank's just right there. He has a syntax already. He had to look back to make sure it shot. It didn't look like it was shooting for a second there. So what he has jug and stamina up, and this is all he had. He's gonna the whole time. I wonder if he's gonna grab anything else for the uh, boss fight. But if I mean he has nine minutes left, but basically that's that's it. I mean, it's the boss fight. It's the purification step. I wonder if he's able to warp. If he's able to warp out of the um, this part where you have to talk to the the monster guy. Because I I don't I was able to do it when this first they start, first roll, rolled this map out, but I haven't been able to do it since then. Easy clap. He's going to get up in their face so they run right at him. Smart. That's so smart. Because if you give them enough space, they're not going to do it. And he's not going to try to warp out of it. That's fair. I mean, I'm assuming that's why he says glitchless. Because so that means he fights the whole boss fight too. Oh no, never mind. He's gonna go ahead and glitch out of that. Uh huh. I mean, I don't guess that it counts as a glitch. That's pretty awesome, though. Did he go through the floor? I'm gonna have to wait a second. I'm watching that again. I'm sorry, what? So we got Speed Cola. He is pressed up against that glass and he goes through it. I wonder if they they nerfed that. I want to try that. Because listening to him talk is not only like headache worthy, but it costs you like two or three minutes. I mean, not just that conversation, but the conversation later on. So he's already going to be there for the portal when it spawns. Yeah. Let's see. This is the only way to do it. The only way to get that, like, really insane time. And he doesn't have to worry about running over there. Yeah, this is, this is a really, really, really impressive. And, and I don't know if, like, I, I am the same type of human being to be able to do what he's doing, but there are so many tips to pick up. To be able to crank out a faster run. Impressive. Impressive. This is kind of, I mean, I've been watching him do this for years. So this is kind of the name of the game for him. And while he's, he's, I mean, he's using up his ammo right now. I wonder if there's a purpose for this. Because one of the worst things you can do is go into that boss battle with not enough electricity ammo. I mean, I keep on second guessing him like he didn't get the fast time in the world. Oh, he just got a max ammo. So, but he's going to get ammo from the megatons. You can buy some more perks. Yep, quick revive. I think that's pretty, that's a, a must. If you want to like crank through the boss fight without being that concerned, because I got one tap today. It nearly cost me my entire run. All right, grab the picture and he's into the boss fight. And it looks like the... I'm going to see if he glitches out of it. Because I think they nerf glitching out of the boss fight. 
Oh, no, he changed his loadout to Ring of Fire. So he's planning on fighting this. Round 10. I mean, just everything was so, so efficient. It's just insane to see. Upgrade his damage. Nope. Doesn't have enough for... This guy talks so much. We're laughing so hard on stream today. Everybody's like, does this guy ever shut up? But he really doesn't. I mean, he he just went through it with him where he's talking about his family. Now he's talking about his family again. It's like, bro, why don't you help us out? Just be a monster and stuff. Like, help us get out of here. So he's already on that second level. Interesting to see what his plans are and how he tackles this boss fight. Because that's really the last thing for me to unpack to see. <laughs> he's like nodding up and down to unpack and see how he approaches this. Is he waiting for them to spawn? He is waiting for their spawn. Okay, cool. So they stay further away and you stay, you protect him. So you face away from him, but... Make sure they don't get in, in there, into his space. Because it doesn't take much for him to stop doing what he's doing. Like, for him to be a monster, he's kind of a... He's not a very helpful monster. But he's being... He's, he's checking for their spawns. Checking all the different directions. Trying to do his best to make sure that they don't get up close to him. Because that's the one thing that does derail what he's doing. It'll be interesting to see if there is... Oh, no, they're already done with the first step. Cranking it out. I wouldn't expect any different. So where does he set himself up for this one? All right, so this is this is this is where I set up. I think this gives you the best vantage point. You can see most of the spawns. There's that spawn behind you. But this is this gives you the best vantage point, I think. He's just being very careful not to let them get close enough to him to where it slows down what he's doing. So the way he's going, they're they're not going to have any any time where they slow him down. And look at how fast he's cranking this out. Oh, no, they slowed him down, finally. God, like, be a better monster. Be a better monster than that, dude. I, you know, I, I, I did that the first, when I was so concerned about doing the boss fight the first time, the first day this came out, I, I had stims. And I haven't had stims since then, but I really do think that makes it more efficient. He's already through two. And his run only has two more minutes left. His run doesn't even have two minutes left. So basically, they don't. He throws down his ring of fire, and they don't touch this guy one more time. This is so impressive. This this run right here is so impressive. I am starting to wonder if they nerfed getting the wonder weapon in the uh, the coffin dance because I used to get it all the time when I was just leveling up guns when I didn't need it at all. But since I've been trying to do, like, my god run, uh, that's so fast. That's so fast. That's a really, really, really fast boss fight. Is he going to level up his armor or something? Yep. Okay. Everything he's done makes sense. It's just kind of, and he's going to go out this way. Interesting. I like, I like this route, and I honestly feel like there's less opportunity for you to get trapped. Because if you go that other way, there's two or three opportunities for you to get sandwiched, and it's like two or three of them running at you at once. So I like his route a little bit better, honestly. And he's just going to stay down here and wait for him to... Um, 20, he's got 15 more seconds.
So impressive. So impressive. That's so impressive. And there's so many things he did in there that I could pick up and kind of add to my runs. So it just it, it's just really impressive to watch. He's he's very impressive. So it, it's it, it doesn't surprise me that he was able to crank out a route like that. But it's um, I don't know a lot of things to think about. And I think if if people watch this, then they can factor that into his run. There was absolutely no wasted effort. There's also a lot of really opportune things happen for him. And I'm not saying he got lucky. I'm saying to get twenty four oh six. Not only do you have to be insanely efficient, you also have to have a lot of things go right for you. Really impressive. Guys, I don't know what you think. If you want me to do some more of these reaction videos, I'm more than happy to do this. This was very interesting to watch. Some One of you guys uh, on stream today suggested that I do a react to some of these fastest uh, Easter eggs. So if you guys have suggestions for more Easter eggs, Easter eggs for me to uh, react to, just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll post it on YouTube.